Hey guys, what is going on? Grim Creeper 007 here, and welcome to another episode. This today is going to be a game review on uh, the game Assetto Corsa. It's in early access right now. It's a racing simulator made by Kuno Simulation, which is Italian. Um, it was published in uh, late 2013 in November. It's Italian. And uh, here's a fun fact for you. Assetto Corsa means racing setup in Italian. So, the game is racing setup, but in Italian. So, in the graphics, um, let me show you here. Oops. Let's just go outside. Here, the guy. Let's just put the volume down a bit. The guy here, he's nice, but I think he could have a little more work. But he is nice. Um, then we have the environment, which is nice when you back up. But when you go in close, it it needs a bit more work. Like the trees and the bushes and stuff. I think they need a bit more work. But it does look inviting, though. Like lush and stuff. The water, well, I don't see any water, so no water. The sky, it's nice, it's nice blue with fluffy cra fluffy clouds, sorry. It's early in the morning. Um, the ground is alright, but the grass doesn't look all that realistic. In my opinion. So I can't give it a great for that. And uh, the cars, though. However, the cars are astonishing. They are beautiful. Look at that. The rims, the bodywork. It's, it's reflecting off. So, that's great. Then the sounds, the engines, are very meaty and complete. Just listen to that engine. From inside, it sounds very nice as well. So, uh, sounds overall are very, very good, very good. Then the gameplay, sadly there's no campaign yet. Since it's an early access, the campaign is not out. So, there's only some, uh, there's only practice and some special events. But practice is really fun. My favorite uh, thing to do is take the Lotus uh, Formula 1, forget its name, and come on Monza 66 and just try to beat my old speed record. So the AI, the civilians is uh, great because you see like, let's say, well there's not much civilians but from what I see, if I look backwards my guy will actually look in the rear view mirrors. So that's pretty cool, and like the pit crews move and stuff. That's cool. It's available on Steam for forty dollars, forty U.S. dollars. So that's like forty-three Canadian, I think. That's what I bought it for. And um, papers. So overall, this game is uh, it's, it's great. I like it. And um, my thoughts, the environment as a whole could be improved. The trees could be, instead of like 2Ds put together to make it look 3D, um, it should be improved to look uh, spelunkier, I guess. The, the campaign should come soon because I think it could really like sell this game a lot more with the campaign. Not saying practice isn't fun, but the, the the car graphics are just astonishing. They are beautiful, and um, I hope there is a big modding community for this game because I like mods with games. Like my Armor Three, you have no idea how much mods there are. There's maybe sixty, and so I like modded games. And uh, I think the thing is there should be soft-bodied cars. Because now when we crash, 
you don't see damage on your car. It'll affect the vehicle, and you can even like choke out the engine. If you mess with traction control. Oops, pressed R there for replay, my bad. And there you go, I killed the engine, messing with traction control. But, those are my thoughts on the game, and overall, I gave, uh, I give it an 8 out of 10. Can't give it 9 or a 10, because the environment needs a bit of work. Not all the content is out yet, and there's no campaign. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.